Even staff who are extremely skilled often have an aha moment during the praise section. And that's because in the busy, sometimes reactive environment of residential treatment, praise is often one of the things that slips by the wayside. Yet, it's one of the most powerful tools in terms of shaping behavior and building positive connections with youth. So, why the disconnect? Well, there are a lot of reasons. First, as humans, we have a natural negativity bias. We're wired to see what's wrong, and that's what we focus on. We actually forget to catch kids doing well. Also, if we come from families where we haven't received a lot of praise, we might not feel comfortable using it. Praise might feel phony or awkward or uncomfortable. We might also have beliefs like, why should I be praising a youth for something they should be doing? Or, if you praise a kid too much, it stops working. The belief that some kids never do anything to deserve praise comes up quite a lot too. All of these beliefs prevent us from using one of the most effective skills in promoting positive and adaptive youth behaviors. Not just behaviors that will help them get along in residential treatment, but skills that will help them get and keep jobs and be in good relationships. So the first step in promoting a praise culture is getting to what's getting in the way of people using praise. By asking participants to share their beliefs, a dialogue emerges where they can examine and reconsider their positions. And praise isn't just for youth. In our EQ2 study, one of the biggest factors eroding staff's sense of well-being and satisfaction was the lack of positive supervision they received. Creating a happy, effective, productive workforce requires us to praise staff for what they're doing right and the character strengths they bring to this work. It means recognizing their efforts so they feel appreciated, valued, and respected. We highly recommend giving the praise tip sheet to their supervisors to reinforce them bringing these skills to their supervision with direct care staff. All of these praise tips are part of really good, effective supervision. As one staff said, you either have to pay me or praise me to keep me going. Finally, there is no better place for us to plant the seed for a praise culture than in an EQ2 group. Here are a few EQ2 phrases, but feel free to use your own. Positive interactions like that are exactly the kind that can change youth's brains. You are literally rewiring and healing the brain when you do that. Awesome. Or, this may be the only chance that youth will have to build a caring, safe relationship like the one you're creating with him. They are so lucky to have you. Or, the level of self-awareness and self-control you showed in that situation was awesome. I hope you see that. Bottom line, whenever someone reports handling a situation with a youth in a good way, praise them. When they share using a skill, praise them. Just like it says on the praise tip sheet, praise character, praise effort, and praise often.